Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to September's wrap up. As per usual, we are late with this video, but at this point, is it a surprise? It's not. It should not be. If you are new, never expect the monthly wrap ups to be at the end or the very first day of the month. Just wrapping up everything on my letter box. So that's old, new, rewatches, all that good stuff. There will be time uh, stamps down below if you'd like to skip around. I did only watch two September movies because just like the month before and the month before that, I have not really made it to the theater. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with my like what to watch September hopefuls. I did do a video with kind of like a new series that I was trying out. Didn't do so well. I'm not going to do it in October because I feel like I'm going to be too busy in October to really watch a lot of stuff. So we'll start it back up in November and just kind of finish off the year, see how, how it does. But we have our trusted little popcorn bucket here with about... 90 movies in here um just movies that are very beloved that i've never watched before movies that i'm wanting to give another shot to we're going to talk about the ones that i did not watch okay so we have blue bayou didn't didn't get to that so it's going to go back in here okay we also did not watch blade runner i do have blade runner 2049 let me actually remove that 2049 because i told they were told me I probably should watch the first one, which I had not. Um, I actually don't even know if I do have the original one in here. I don't think I do. So we're just going to go in there. The Map of Tiny Perfect Places. I really am very sad that I did not watch that one. And we also have... Oh my god, I thought I was going to drop my coke. I got scared. Thankfully, the boogie, Oogie Boogie was there to, to save him. Since we don't have Mr. Oogie Boogie over here per usual he's over here on the sideline i had to put him behind me i took jack and sally off and and then put that there the boy in the striped pajamas they didn't watch that either i totally messed up i honestly thought i could have sworn i could have sworn i had in bruges i really did apparently i mixed it up with snatched for some reason i don't know so we just kind of swapped out snatched for in bruges i don't have that movie and i wasn't gonna pay to rent it okay and then lastly we have the lord of the rings when i tell you every time that i saw this there at my table i said i'm not watching you and like every time my eyes i think first first would always go to this and i would get so mad and i would be like uh, no uh, no i'm not watching you i don't even know why i put it in here i'm not watching that no i gave it the opportunity i saw all three of them they just were not for me what i did watch was watchmen if y'all recall i said i don't think i liked it also i didn't remember it because i don't think i liked it i still don't know what i watched <laughs> i honestly don't understand it i while i was watching it i was like what what are you even about like i don't get you like at this point you're just a movie that really exists okay I don't even know where to put it. I'm, it was okay. It had some really cool like killing and fighting scenes because it kind of almost reminded me of the boys, which I love because it's like that violent superhero deal, which is more like vigilantes type of stuff, right? But like the boys, as far as like darkness and like murder is, and I love that. I love when a superhero is like dangerous and mean and it's like, oh, I got the power and I will like mm, you. And it's all goody two shoes like Marvel. I don't know. I'm just gonna say it was okay because I, I know the fight scenes were pretty good. I kind of want to put a tear in there and be like, it's a movie that exists so just know that that's where it goes it's a movie that exists and i don't know that i'm just not gonna rewatch ever again eighth grade i cannot believe it took me this long to watch this movie it's a coming of age i'm a girl who was in eighth grade one time having feelings i didn't i, I at first i was like oh my god we're kind of the same but then like she started doing and getting involved in other things i said okay no we're like our similarities are like done with i very much applauded her for taking the risk and trying to you know like the confidence and like be yourself like she was very awkward you know it's like very cringy it was awkward it's a wonderful wonderful coming of age story I was never a cool kid y'all i wasn't i mean i wasn't a loser either i was just a kid that existed at the school i was like the background student that you see like in a movie like just a background like oh there's a human that's walking that was me i was a nobody is that like less like sadder than being a loser honestly i'd rather be a nobody than like 
being picked at. Also, people would attempt to bully me, but ever since I was little, I always had this mouth on me. I don't know why, where I went with that. My ADD just kind of kicked in for some reason. That was a fun fact. I love this movie. It was, it's, it's a favorite coming of age story. We're gonna put it under favorite. Then we have Batman The Long Halloween Part 1. I haven't seen Part 2, but I will say once this one ended, I said, oh, oh, I wanna see Part 2. Like, I'm waiting. F I should have just watched it. Cause I needed to watch, oh, I think I was supposed to put it back in here because it was two parts. So I can put it back in there as part two. Um, but I, w I do want to watch part two again. Well, not again. I want to watch part two because the way that it ended is like a cliffhanger. It was really good. I've never really seen like Batman animated stuff. Well, no, like scratch that. When I was younger, but like not as an adult. But it was good. I enjoyed it. I'm going to say uh, it was pretty great. It was pretty great. I didn't love it or, you know, it was like super awesome. Then we have Baby Driver. That is right. Baby Driver is on one of my rewatches because I have seen this now three times, four times. I still stand with, I, it's not, my sister loves it. I bought it because my sister loves it and I, and I like the, the, the steelbook deal. Great music. Okay. I like the highs. It's just like overall it's not a movie for me it's just it really it really is not um and that's okay and that is okay because it's for all of you um but i have given this movie enough chances that officially it's just it's not it's not for it um so i'm gonna go ahead and put it right here uh create a row below okay i'm just gonna put on here not for me I think that's pretty fair to kind of have it there in the middle, right? Because it's not a bad movie at all. And I know it's a really good movie. I get it. I get the appeal for it. It's just at the end of the day, it's just not for me, okay? Then the one that we had to like swap in for in Bruges is Snatched. I loved it. I honestly, I, I, I really loved it. It was so much fun. There was a lot going on. And I like these type of movies. And yeah, I just, I had a really good time with it. I almost want to put it in awesome, but no, no, it was just like a fun movie. So those are the movies that are part of my like what to watch new series that I'm doing that I ended up taking part of from the book world of TBR chooses my like September reads. Then we're gonna go into the rewatches and then we got Scary Movie and Scary Movie 2. We are gonna be seeing these movies in my next video where which is part of my unofficial like 13 nights of Halloween that I'm doing differently this year because like I said in my last video I don't even know where the videos are going because I, I filmed like three videos because I'm on a row and I'm like, let me go ahead and take advantage to start filming. We're doing 13 Nights of Fright, but like unofficial, like how I've been doing it. We're not doing 13 consecutive like movie reviews. We're just doing kind of like random movies within those last like, not movies, random videos within those last like 13 days. These are honestly some of my favorites. So we're just going to put them, um, both of them. I love both um, over here towards the favorites i do like part two better uh, but they're both really good I, I love both of them then we have true lies okay y'all i have not seen true lies in like years 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 it's a great fucking movie y'all i forgot how great it was it kept coming on tv so much and every time that i watched it i was well every time that it came on i was like oh i want to watch it but from the beginning so it's always like somewhere in the middle i'm just like dude i need to watch you finally i was able to and it's just an, a freaking awesome movie. Then the next two was when I wanted to cry. I was like, not like, don't be worried. But you know, sometimes you just want to like cleanse the soul a little bit. I just wanted a movie that was going to make me cry. And I know these two movies do that. Five Feet Apart. Oh my God. I like, <gasps> like I love these movies. I'm going to put them under my favorite. Those are my go-to like if I, if I want to just cry. First time watches. We have Joyride. I have been wanting to watch this. I just didn't get a chance to watch it in theaters. I was so sad. I would have loved to have watched this in theaters. Yeah, when I tell you, this is a favorite of the year. I laugh so much. This is definitely my type of comedy. I already know I love comedy. I love raunchy comedy. Unfortunately, raunchy comedy is dying because people are too damn sensitive these days. But this right here, it just checks so many boxes. I loved it. It made me cry. 
Yeah, I cried a lot in September, apparently. <laughs> I was like, my soul is very cleansed as much as I cried, okay? So it's like very funny. It's very entertaining. And then it has like a nice little heartwarming uh, moment there at the end that I was just like, what? Like, I did not expect tears to form and drop from this movie. And it's actually one of my favorite things when I just don't expect to cry and then like, the tears come down. And then we have You Are So Now Welcome to My Bat Mitzvah. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. Adam Sandler movie starring his daughters. The wife of course there. I think it's so funny because I don't think I've ever seen his wife play his actual wife in any other movies. The Adam's movies hit or miss. This one was okay. It was just okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It's just one that I will never watch again. If you have jumped forward you have jumped to the correct spot. We only got two little movies here, okay? We got Equalizer 3. Honestly, I don't even remember part two very well. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that about that. Um, I feel like it closed it off very well. I really enjoyed it. Very, like, chill movie. You know, you're seeing this man who got hurt. So it's, like, very much realistic, right because it took him a long time to actually get his strength back up so he wasn't like super superhuman as you tend like john wick that falls and hits and he's still going at it like no he is shot i think it was just one time that he got shot at that and then like he was down right and then he's like recuperating trying to process his life be trying to be part of this community and try not to like kill people but then it's like he sees bad things and you know he's being him and then shit goes down right uh, I thought it was a beautiful movie. I really enjoyed it. It had enough action. Like, I wish it had more action, obviously. But it had just enough to keep me, like, there entertained and everything. But it is, like, a slow burn type of action movie. But it's beautiful and it's great. A lot of really, really nice scenery. Great story. I'm going to say I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. It was it was good. Um, then we have Saw 10. I love Saw movies. They're great. If you know me, I love, like slasher i love gore i don't like scary i don't like possession but i like slasher and gore yay got somebody up for me that's awesome but don't have anything demonic come at me because then i'll be like ah it's another song movie like it's it doesn't bring anything really new to the story except for bringing um john right is that his name forget people's names the main guy he's more well he's front and center in this movie like he's the main character um, so we do see him more versus him being in the background and coming in from time to time and, and kind of focusing on everybody else. So I really enjoyed that part that he's now front and center and he's like the main character. The traps weren't as great as other traps, especially for being part 10. But like I said in the review, I like how simple they keep this franchise. Like this is definitely one of those things where you don't have to go big or go home. It's like sometimes we have this formula down. It's more of the simple thing thing and keeping it here and not trying to like really over I maybe them pushing it to the next level was with that 3d movie and they're like oh it didn't quite work out so let's bring it back over here to what we know and we like and we're chill and it's not like super overproduced it's not super you know like fast and the furious you know we're like at 10 and they're going into space well I mean they went to space in mind but still you know it's not that it's very much contained and at the same time, it's like, well, you do want it to be more. But if it is more and they go too overboard, then you're like, ah, why couldn't they have left it over here? So it's just one of those things that I feel like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. I really enjoyed that this one takes place within part two and three, I believe. I'm gonna just say I loved it also. I did. These are the movies that I watched in the month of September. Let me know what you guys watch because I know you watch way more than I do. But of course, before you guys leave, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.